Luke 18, 9 through 14, Jesus shares another parable, another story, this time with two characters, a Pharisee and a tax collector. This parable is again found only in Luke, but contains some rich spiritual truths for us. In this parable, Jesus is speaking to those uh, people who saw themselves as righteous and they treated others poorly. Uh, these were people who looked down on everyone else. These were people who despised or even rejected those beneath them. The word uh, self-righteous comes to mind. You know, that's this group of people that Jesus was talking to. So this parable begins with two, two people now. Two hearts, two ways of doing prayer. A prayer from a Pharisee and a prayer from a tax collector. And these characters couldn't be really more different. A Pharisee is a respected Jewish leader. Well, uh, uh, as you can imagine, a tax collector collected taxes. And it seems like there wasn't much love uh, for these guys. You know, the Pharisee approaches God with a, a bold prayer, beginning his prayer with what looks like a praise song. He thanks God, but for himself. Like, thank you, God, for making me so wonderful. It's like he's saying, thank you that I I'm not like those people, the, the others, the robbers, the evildoers and adulterers, or even like a tax collector. The Pharisee honors God by fasting and tithing. God should be so honored that the Pharisee would give so much of his time to God. Okay. So there we have the Pharisee and now the tax collector. His approach is very different. He beats his chest in sorrow before God. He can't even look up. He knows he's a sinner. He cries out for God's mercy. He's not listing out his good deeds or comparing himself to anyone. He has nothing to offer God. His life is full of mistakes and he only asks God for, God for his mercy. He makes an appeal before God for forgiveness and compassion. He comes to, to God desiring only to connect with him. What does Jesus do? After describing these two types of people, he gives us insight into their prayers. In verse 14, we read that the one who is justified before God, the one whose prayer is heard, it's not the Pharisee, the tax collector. The prayer that God hears is the one for mercy. And Jesus explains that those who exalt themselves will be humbled, but those who humble themselves will be lifted up. Appearance means nothing. Resume, social status, self-righteousness all mean nothing. What matters is a broken heart that uh, appreciates God and accepts what he has given to us through Jesus. That's the gospel, the good news for the brokenhearted, those who, who, need, who need God's mercy and seeking God's forgiveness. The tax collector knows that he needs it and receives it. We need it. We need, we need God's forgiveness. When we look at this parable, we, we see a battle between pride and humility. The real danger of pride is that it, it makes it difficult for us to see how we stand before God. Whereas humility enables us to never forget where we stand before God. The fact is we all stand before God guilty. We all are in need of his grace and forgiveness in our lives. We are all sinners. We all need a savior. Humility rests in his grace towards us. If we are truly brokenhearted like the tax collector, God's love and forgiveness in Christ is there for us, completely, wholly boundless. Now, how do we know where our hearts lie? Are we tax collectors or Pharisees? Really, that's up for you to decide. We all need to do a heart check. Check our motives before God. Like the tax collector, let's humble ourselves before God and learn to live in his grace, never forgetting all that Jesus has done for us.